So part of the, the model of what we're creating here at Emerald Earth is we're trying to be very deliberate about balancing the needs of individuals and families with the needs of the, the whole group. And we're trying to, in the development of our infrastructure, building our buildings, designing our common spaces, etc., we're doing a little bit of social engineering. We're thinking, how, how do we want this community to function in the future? And let's create an infrastructure that supports that. One of the things that's really important to us is that this doesn't become a suburb of people withdrawing to their individual homes, living completely separate lives and getting together only occasionally for social functions or something like that. But that the communal aspect of what we're doing here continues to, to be very important in everybody's lives. And one of the main ways that we come together, we come together a lot in meetings and for decision making, we come together for parties and dances and rituals. But probably the most important way that we come together on a daily basis is, is in meals. At this point, every lunch and dinner every day is available for people to eat together in the common house. And it isn't expected that everybody's going to come to every group meal. But we're, we've chosen to develop really, you know, substantial and ample cooking facilities in our common areas and not in our private areas. In our, in our private homes, which are very, very small, there's usually a, a, a pretty minimal kitchen with a sink a couple of burners for heating tea or leftovers or making toast or whatever you want to do. A little bit of counter space, but it's not a full kitchen. And so that's partly to encourage the group to come together and share at meals. And it's partly, it's partly a resource usage issue. The, the fewer things that the homes, the individual homes need to accommodate, the smaller they can be which means the less resources that they use in the construction and the less energy that they need needs to go into heating them and keeping them comfortable. So in general, any function that we can take out of the individual homes and, may, and put into a communal space, we've chosen to do so. So we thought, what, what's the really important thing? Why are people going to their separate homes? We have not been interested, like some other communities do, in building one giant house that everybody lives together in. That doesn't, that doesn't work for us kind of on, a, on an emotional level because most of us here like a little bit more privacy. Than that. We want to have a space that we can retreat to, that we have control over, that isn't going to be full of somebody else's screaming kids or somebody else's music or even somebody else's cooking smells. But we can go to, we can relax, we can put on our own music, we can read a book, we can do work if we, we need to do quiet work. We can have our family interactions and our interactions with, with our children out of the kind of fishbowl that you get in the common house situations. <laughs> so we've created homes that are basically going to give us the privacy that we need for retreats and serve that way but that aren't going to usurp a lot of what the common functions are going to be for, you know, and again, that's for both for social purposes and for resource, for the purpose of reducing 